Hey there, CJ Maurer with The Gist, Certified HubSpot Solutions Partner. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most common technical necessities of using HubSpot properly, especially if you're using HubSpot to produce content and send emails, and that is connecting your domain to HubSpot, right? And different companies connect domains differently or different parts of their domain depending on their needs, right? A lot of clients, including my own business, actually use HubSpot to build and manage our entire website. We use the HubSpot CMS, but a lot of other companies uh, have their website hosted elsewhere, such as WordPress or any other common content management system. But they wanna use HubSpot to publish their blogs and their one-off landing pages that are familyed with the normal brand design, right? Because if you have a marketing person that's orchestrating all the marketing stuff, right, it's a lot of benefit to be able to publish all of that stuff through HubSpot. And finally, everybody who's using HubSpot, at least from a marketing perspective, is using the marketing email tool. You may need to connect a domain for website pages, blogs, landing pages, knowledge base or customer portals, and of course, an email sending domain. Now, before we get into all of that, I'm gonna start where I almost never start in these videos. Normally I'm starting in a demo portal, my own portal. Right now I'm starting with the HubSpot knowledge base. If you're watching this video and you're not an IT person and you need to get authorization from your IT person to not only approve you to connect your domain to HubSpot, but to even help you do it, this is documentation you're going to want to have, right? So we'll drop these links in the description of this video, but also if you literally just Google HubSpot connect domain or HubSpot email sending domain, it's the first thing that you're going to see. Fortunately, HubSpot has a lot of documentation about why people connect their domains to HubSpot, what, it, what it's for, and how to actually do it with step-by-step -step instructions, which is great. On a high level, any aspects of connecting your domain, and then more specifically, connecting your email sending domain to make sure that your emails actually have a better deliverability and performance. I'm gonna now go to a demo portal called The Play Shop. And I happen to own a domain called playshop.agency that happens to be hosted in GoDaddy, but now I'm gonna connect it in HubSpot so I can do all of the things that I wanna do. So I'm gonna start by connecting a domain and I'm gonna hit primary and I'm gonna hit connect. I'm gonna paste the domain here, no HTTP, no www, just blank dot blank, that's it. And I'm gonna hit next. What are you creating in HubSpot today? I'm actually gonna select all, website pages, blog, landing pages, marketing email, and let's say knowledge base. Now I'm gonna hit next. Now it's going to ask you what subdomain you want all of these to live on. I'm gonna tell you, I want my website to live on www. For your blog or landing pages, you can do this now, but you don't always have to. Quick side note, your blog could live on a subdomain or a subdirectory. So if it was like apple.com, right, is your main domain, your blog could live on blog.apple.com instead of www.apple.com, or it could live on www.apple.com slash blog slash everything else. But I'm gonna say, let's keep the landing pages on info dot and the knowledge base at support dot. And these will be our subdomains, but everything else will live at www. So now our blog will live at a, a, at a subdirectory. It'll be playshop.agency slash blog. And the marketing email will just live on the root domain. So I'm just gonna keep, keep clicking next as it confirms this. What's really cool is that if you're with GoDaddy, HubSpot can actually detect if the domain is hosted in GoNet, GoDaddy, and you can literally just connect it and it will do all of the things pretty much for you, which is great. But for the people that don't have GoDaddy, I wanna set it up manually so you can see how this works. So essentially what you have to do is update your DNS records. So it has given me five records that I have to create. So I'm gonna do it one by one. This first one is a CNAME record. So as long as you're where you have to be in your DNS management, I'm gonna click add new record. I'm gonna click CNAME. And then I'm just gonna copy the host. And the required data. Time to load, just keep it as the shortest one and hit save. That's really all you have to do. Why is this an error? Is because if I'm being honest, I've just kind of exposed myself. I already did this 
and then I disconnected it just so I could be able to do it for this demo. But if I was doing this for the first time, I would not have that error at all. So that's literally all you have to do is you would hit save and one by one, go through all of this and hit verify. So it'll check your records and usually when you first do it, uh, it's gonna say your records are updating and it's not connected yet. It, it may take up to an hour, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes it only takes like five or 10 minutes. You can view all of them here, you can click finish later. And again, you're seeing a lot of these are already starting to connect because I had them connected before. But these will, these will be grayed out like this, not connected until they are, so then you just check back in. And that's really, that simple. Now, what does this mean? Now this means I can publish my landing, my website pages and blog and landing pages directly from HubSpot. They will live on my domain. I can have an email sending domain. Oh, let me connect the email sending domain. Connect the email sending domain. You just add any example email that could live at that domain. It doesn't matter. And then it'll be okay. It understands name at next, next, again, uh, I'll do this manually and it'll give you these two records, right? So I'm actually going to go back here. We want a TXT record. Copy. Save. So you do, you do the same thing. I'll, I'll do the, this other record. I'm copying that value, copy, copy. Hit save. There we go. Uh, now I'm gonna verify. Now again, it's probably not gonna do it immediately. Sometimes it resolves itself. I'm gonna click exit without verifying and it's partially authenticated, right? But basically, usually within an hour, everything verifies. And now not only can you send all of your content, publish all your content, but now you can send your emails connected to your domain. It improves deliverability and performance. If you have an IT person, simply sending them the documentation sometimes is enough, but it's up to you. You're gonna have to read that documentation and go through it. So hopefully a video like this really helps you. Connecting your domains is imperative for maximizing the value of HubSpot, especially using marketing and content hubs. Hope you found this valuable. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please, please like it or subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or would like to suggest a new topic for us to do a strategic HubSpot tutorial on, please just click the link in the description and fill out the form. We read every single submission and have created a lot of videos based on your suggestions. So thanks so much. We'll see you soon.